Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee, who herself is injured, she has come to see the condition out there. There is this under under a construction building which has collapsed, and you can see Mamata Banerjee. She herself is injured, but she has come on the spot in the morning, in the middle of the night. An incident happened, and you can see that Mamata Banerjee herself. She is though injured, but she has come to see the condition of of what's happening there. On spot, you can see Mamuta Banerjee. She has come to see what is the situation, why this thing has happened. And uh, we know that two casualties are there and more people have been recovered. More than 14 people have been recovered. Here, Mamuta Banerjee right now uh, on the spot in Garden Reach to take stock of the situation. And she is actually walking and going inside. She will be talking to the people. She herself has been injured two, three days back. Uh, and, and you can see Mamata Banerjee herself in the spot. Rescue operations are going on and as it is raining, it is becoming a little bit difficult. But you can see behind me the NDRF team, the Kolkata Police team and the disaster management team. All the teams are working together. As far as we know and as far as we are getting it from our NDRF sources, that there is an apprehension that eight to nine people might be trapped inside. Now out of that eight to nine, what we just now got a confirmation that they have taken out two people and they are in connection with three more people inside. So actually in war footing, this work is going on as you can see that the police and the disaster management team, the NDRF, all are together on work at the site and we can see that all the other buildings also NDRF are there. This is a very congested dinghy place as was also pointed out by Mamata Banerjee. She said that there is a history of certain illegal construction out here. Nobody will be spared but this is the ground zero situation. As you can see late night, in the middle of the night it happened and after that now near about 20 people more than 20 people have been recovered. They are in three, been sent to three hospitals. Uh, some of the hospitals, in one hospital, some of them have been given first aid and taken out. The administration has declared five lakh for the dead people who are dead and also one lakh for the injured. So you can, this is in war 14, you can see that all these uh, actions are taken by the Kolkata police, the disaster management and the NDRF team. Near about 50 NDRF personnel are working here since last time. That means three teams and also the Kolkata police commissioner, the other deputy commissioners, Chief Minister Mamuta Banerjee herself came here, Mayor is here, but definitely the question arises that how does such buildings, so some of them are accusing that it is because of these areas all where water bodies, these allegations too are coming in. Right now in war footing the rescue operation is on. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. The rescue operation is in war footing and this road, this road leads to that uh, spot and right now all the roads to the spot has been closed by the authorities so that the rescue operation takes place as fast as possible. There are 50 members, NDRF team also working uh, there and what we are coming to know that a lot of, uh, uh, more than 14 people now have recovered. Some have got first aid and has been released from the hospital. That is also latest development that we are getting. But there is an apprehension that eight to nine people still are stuck inside. What we are getting it from our NDRF sources as they are in touch with the people who are stuck inside and they are uh, they are in uh, conversation with them. Uh, so that is the situation on ground. Two casualties obviously all the seniors officers of police, the mayor of Kolkata with whom we spoke, the disaster management, uh, the fire minister also there. But definitely this is a very shocking incident in the middle of the night. It took place. We'd like to talk to some of the people. Bhaiya, kya hua kal raat ko yaha? Yeah, we were in the night. In the morning, I got to know that the building was gone. Did you see it? What did you see? Yes, I saw it. It was gone. There was nothing else. How many days was this building? I don't have an idea. We don't go there. My house is here. We don't go there. We don't go there. We don't go there. We don't go there. But the building was gone in the morning. Yes, I went there in the morning. So people out here is also in a state of shock. Definitely, you know, all the people are there here, but most of them are not very much interested to, as you can see that the NDRF team, uh, uh, they are also working in war footing. Uh, we will try to talk to them, sir. How many people have been recovered? Kuch I don't know. Huh? So, you know, uh, 
everybody is, is, is at their work and definitely uh, this entire area has been uh, in and around it has been sealed and nobody is allowed to go inside but definitely the ad administration what we are coming to know that 5 lakh has been declared for the dead and 1 lakh for the injured but the question definitely rise this is a very dingy area that uh, how this happened because in the middle of the night that entire building that under uh, construction building that fell on the jhupris out there so people who actually are the victims they are uh, they are very poor people so definitely that's a very uh, shocking incident but right now what we are coming to know that more than 14 people right now have been recovered and there is an apprehension that 8 to 9 people more may be stuck inside uh, in three hospitals people have been taken some have been released after first aid